are driving today to come here? Me too. When we drive the car, the car engine exhausts the toxic gas into the environment. As you see in the picture, there is a part placed next to the engine called catalytic converter. This catalytic converter converts this toxic gas into the environmental friendly non-toxic gas. In today's catalytic converter, we are using very expensive material such as platinum, palladium, and ruthenium. That is why we are paying so much money for the catalytic converter that eventually increase our car price. However, these expensive materials are still not capable to meet the regulation limit for the year of 2025. Because day by day, the cars are increasing on the road and the regulation limits are becoming more and more harder. So isn't it, do you think we need something cheaper and better material? that can meet the future regulation? Yes. So we have a potential candidate called zeolite that can remove the toxic nitric oxide gas from the engine. So zeolite is a porous material and its structure is very complex to understand because the reaction is happening inside the pore that makes it harder to study into their deeper layer. So as part of my PhD thesis, I have synthesized flatter and simpler version of that complex porous material. And I engineered it with a cheaper metal, which is copper. I'm sorry. That you see the purple ball in this picture. So this system will reveal the mystery of zeolite chemistry into the molecular level. If you understand the system into the molecular level, then the engineer can design it more advanced, effective, and lower cost price material for the catalytic converter. If we understand it better, we can design it better. So this finding will not only decrease the car price, but also it has a great potential that can remove the toxic gas from the environment in order to meet the revolution for the 2025. Thank you.